Hi, my name is Farhan and I'm a third year medical student at the University of Manchester. During this short video on electronic cigarettes, I will talk about what electronic cigarettes are, their role as a replacement for conventional cigarettes, whether they are safe to use, risks to non-users from their vapour, their effectiveness in stopping smoking, and finally, who uses them? So, what are electronic cigarettes? Electronic cigarettes are devices that resemble cigarettes. They are marketed as less harmful alternatives to cigarettes and can be used in places where smoking is banned since they do not produce smoke. There are three main types. Those that are disposable and non-rechargeable. Those that are rechargeable with replaceable pre-filled cartridges and those that are rechargeable and have a tank or reservoir which needs to be filled with liquid nicotine. As summarised in this image, they work by delivering an aerosol, also known as a vapour, containing nicotine to users. The aerosol is created by heating a liquid that is made up of propylene glycol or glycerine, both commonly used in the food industry, as well as nicotine and flavouring agents. The user then inhales the aerosol through the mouthpiece. There is no side stream of smoke, but some nicotine vapour is released into the air as the user breathes out. Why replace conventional cigarettes? Because every cigarette you smoke is harmful. Smoking is the biggest cause of preventable deaths in England, accounting for more than 80,000 deaths each year. One in two smokers will die from a smoking related disease. If you could see the damage, you'd stop. Quitting smoking conventional cigarettes reduces the harm caused by tobacco. The ideal situation is stopping entirely, but for those unable to do so, a harm reduction approach is best. The harm caused is through the toxins produced by burning tobacco. It follows that non-tobacco, non-smoked nicotine products, although addictive, are much less harmful. Electronic cigarettes represent a safer, less harmful alternative to cigarettes for smokers who can't or are unwilling to stop using nicotine. Are electronic cigarettes safe to use? Compared with smoking, using an electronic cigarette is safer. However, electronic cigarettes have not been in widespread use long enough for a full assessment. The absolute safety can't be guaranteed. We do, however, have plenty of evidence on the harm from tobacco smoking. Toxins have been found in a number of studies of electronic cigarettes, but these are at a much lower level than those found in cigarettes. Most, but not all, electronic cigarettes contain nicotine. As I already mentioned, the harm from smoking comes from breathing in tobacco smoke rather than nicotine. Having said that, nicotine is an addictive drug which increases your heart rate and blood pressure. Most of the safety concerns are down to the current lack of regulation. This means that there is a big difference in how well devices work, nicotine delivery and the amount of nicotine in cartridges. There is little evidence of harmful effects caused by propylene glycol, the chemical that is part of the liquid in the cartridge. In conclusion, more research is needed on the long-term impact, particularly on the lungs. Are there any risks to non-users from vapour? Electronic cigarettes do not produce smoke, but users breathe out a smoke-like vapour which is made up largely of propylene glycol and glycerine. The amount of nicotine present is about one tenth of that found in secondhand smoke from conventional cigarettes. Any health risks of secondhand exposure to propylene glycol vapour are likely to be limited to irritation of the throat. A long term animal study showed no major adverse effects. Are they effective in helping smokers quit? Currently in the UK, any nicotine containing product which claims it can treat nicotine addiction is classed as a medicine and this subjects it to regulation, so the manufacturers have not made such claims. The World Health Organization has said the electronic cigarette is not a proven nicotine replacement therapy. Despite this, data from a survey shows that 4 in 10 users in England use them to quit smoking. Recent data shows that they are the most popular support that people use when quitting smoking, overtaking over-the-counter nicotine replacement therapies. They are also 60% more effective than nicotine replacement therapies, but over-the-counter in helping smokers quit. 
There is increasing evidence showing that electronic cigarettes are becoming more reliable in delivering nicotine. As electronic cigarettes mimic the action of smoking, they have been shown to reduce cravings, withdrawal symptoms and number of cigarettes smoked per day, even when given a fake electronic cigarette. Who uses electronic cigarettes? Estimates show that there are 2.1 million current users in the UK and most are current or ex-smokers. Public awareness of electronic cigarettes has grown greatly in recent years. Online media has played a huge role in its popularity. Between 2009 and 2011, Google searches for electronic cigarettes increased 50-fold. One survey has shown that in 2010, 3% of smokers said they used electronic cigarettes. This figure increased to 18% in 2014. One of the worries surrounding electronic cigarettes is that they could act as a gateway to smoking amongst children. Current evidence shows that this is not happening. Amongst children, electronic cigarette use is confined almost entirely to those who have already tried smoking. So, in conclusion, Electronic cigarettes are devices that resemble cigarettes. They represent a safer, less harmful alternative to cigarettes for smokers who can't or are unwilling to stop using nicotine. Electronic cigarettes have not been in widespread use long enough for a full assessment. Their absolute safety can't be guaranteed. Effects caused by secondhand exposure are minimal. Electronic cigarettes are now the most popular support used by people to stop smoking and are quite effective in doing so. Electronic cigarette use is increasing. Remember, always discuss with your GP when considering quitting smoking and starting on electronic cigarettes. Visit the NHS website for more information on quitting smoking. Thank you for listening.